Hey guys, it's Mac and Zanorm, and today I'm going to be doing a brief little overview of the new features of the MacBook Pros Apple released yesterday. So, it's a very minor update really, and so Apple didn't put it on their homepage, so I didn't even know about it until late yesterday. Um, but they just unveiled a new line of Mac MacBook Pros. And these MacBook Pros have the latest um, Intel i7, Core i7 chips now. They um, have FC SD card slots again, which is... Um, Apple actually intentionally got rid of that, and then they're adding it back now. And it had a better graphics card, and it has higher battery life. So that's sort of what the um, the new MacBook does compared to the old MacBook. So unless you don't know, the advantages to processors aren't just in the gigahertz. There are a lot of other factors as well. And the Intel Core i7 um, is a lot better optimized than the old processors Apple used to use, the old Intel chips in the MacBook Pros. So, even if you have the same amount of gigahertz in two of these processors, one being an i7, one being an older processor, the i7 would still win. And so that's, that's why, what some people don't understand, and, um, you know, that's why i7 is better. They also have, um, newer NVIDIA chips, I believe, that's not that major unless you play really graphic intensive games on your computer in a really high resolution you're not going to really need that um, and then of course the SD card slot like I said Apple Apple did remove that and I don't I can't imagine who's asking for that back but they decided to put it back so that's there as well and the battery life I believe is now like nine hours or something that's obviously an estimate I don't think it's really nine hours. That would be pretty amazing, though. Um, so I'm not sure if you guys, if you guys were um, saving up to get a MacBook, uh, this might be the time to get it since it's the second day it's come out. You know, it's gonna be a while till you're outdated. So actually, I did with my MacBook Pro, and I'm already out of date, so can't really say that works very well. But um, anyway, also. Um, like, if, if you're wondering if this is a big jump in the laptops, the fact that Apple didn't put it on their homepage should already tell you. It's not that um, huge. Like, I know a couple nerds and geeks out there were probably like, yes, finally the MacBooks have Core i7, but I don't think a standard person's going to notice the difference. So that's just what I'm going to, you know, just talk about with the MacBook Pros. Not that much new, just thought I'd let you guys know my opinions on it, sort of. Anyway, thanks for watching, Mac Kids and on. Subscribe, and goodbye.